Other interesting political news, Donald Trump is yet again nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Now, he's been nominated before, but this specific one looks like he's being nominated by New York Representative Claudia Tini. And they know that he's being nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize after his name was put forward by uh, Claudia, who's a Republican congress congressman, citing the Abraham Accords and the former president helped sign while in office. They know that Trump was instrumental in brokering a treaty signed in September 2020 between Israel and Bahan, as well as the United Arab, United Arab Emirates, which aimed to normalize their relations as a part as an overall goal to tackle down ongoing tensions in the Middle East between Arab countries and Israel. Uh, Morocco and Sudan followed suit in signaling similar agreements in the following months. When asked for additional comment, Tony said, quote, For decades, bureaucrats, foreign, sorry, for decades, bureaucrats, for decades, grammar is terrible, but nevertheless, I'll attempt it yet again. For decades, bureaucrats, foreign policy professionals, and internal organizations insisted that additional Middle East peace agreements were impossible without a resolution to the Israeli-Palestine conflict. President Trump proved it to be false, unquote. Now, Tini also noted that the 1976 Israeli peace agreement with Egypt and a solo accords in both those and in 1994 both recognized with Nobel Peace Prizes, but so far Trump's role in signing the Abraham Accords has not been acknowledged. Let's see here. Now going to Trump over on Twitter, Julie Brock was one of the top responses, getting near about 700,000 views for this, and she said, quote, President Trump is nominated for Nobel Peace Prize. Joe Biden can't pronounce Nobel Peace Prize. I got 716,000 views and 46,000 likes in 24 hours, which is pretty darn good. Now, going to the top comments here, you got Stephen Grower saying, quote, Trump will never get it. Obama got it, though. Ha, 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 unquote. I got 1.2 thousand likes, which, yeah, interestingly enough, um, I still ask my friends what the justification was for Obama winning that Nobel Peace Prize when, statistically speaking, there were more conflicts and more deaths and more war under his administration versus the Trump one. But nevertheless, let's see here. We do have some contrarian statements brewing to the surface. GOP, well, this is a long profile name, but does give us some insight into the person's political ideology. Their profile name is, quote, GOP is complicit now with paradise and satire in time. It's a long profile name, but you know what they're about. They responded with no less than nine laughing emojis. They said, quote, I don't know they gave Nobel Prizes for R word, fraud, and treason. Unquote. That got 1.7 thousand likes. Brits said, keep America Trumpless. It's a picture of, ugh, what's that girl everyone's obsessed with her friends? Jennifer Aniston. And she's wearing a t-shirt saying, keep America Trumpless. Again, 655 likes. Ruben Michael says, quote, when you're invited to Mar Maga Lago, Trump used you, Nita, and tossed you to the curb. And it's a picture of Trump at a dinner and people are talking around him. And the text says, everyone in the world agrees you're an a-hole. That got 974 likes. Let's see here. A couple more comic strips. At Golf, Twitler Slayer says, quote, also nominated for 91 felony court counts by juries of his peers, unquote. That got 2.1 thousand likes. Well, interestingly enough, I can't help but think, see he's not being convicted of those charges. But nevertheless, he was... He was, uh, they did try to press the charges. They tried. Let's see here. Taylor Hancock says, quote, nominated yes, but never won and never will. But Obama won in 2009, unquote, getting 319 likes. Let's see here. Chris from Cali says, quote, lots of people nominated derp. And it's a picture of Biden. It's like a, he was nominated for P Nobel Peace Treaty sometime. It got 110 likes. America Populist says, quote, peace through strength. And it's a picture of Trump. And his quote is, America is fulfilling our destiny in, as peacekeeper, but it is peace through strength. We are stronger than ever, unquote, getting 358 likes. Couple more here. Democrat Rick says, quote, he was nominated, but... By one of his cult members of Congress, you left that part out, getting 535 likes. Chuck Thor Magarokin says, quote, I'm sure that as Sweden competes the stretch run into NATO membership, the guy who said, quote, I don't give a shit about NATO, quote, 
is a lock to go to Stockholm to receive the Nobel Peace Prize, getting 309 likes. I don't remember, I'm not sure if the context of that was when Trump was noticing how none of the countries are actually paying into the NATO and carrying their weight, and the U.S. was the only country doing actually more than their fair share in terms of resource allocation. Let's see here. Michael Lido says, quote, Obama won a Nobel Prize, and it's a picture of Obama dropping a mic, getting 237 likes. Joe Rogan said, quote, President Trump truly deserves it, getting, getting 44 likes. Let's see here. Mike Spazarin says, quote, Joe Biden doesn't even know what the award even is, getting 106 likes. So it'll be interesting to see, at the end of the day, does he actually get the award granted to him? Because I can't help but think, well, again, a lot of other countries, you know, I don't know if they really were fans of him. Partially, I mean, many people would argue because he put America first. I mean, for decades, the U.S. has basically given resources, pretty much given away the whole house, but everything and the kitchen sink, so to say. So well, I know he ruffled a lot of feathers, especially in NATO, when again, he looked around the table and goes, well, you're supposed to allocate 2% of your GDP towards the military, and you're doing 1%, you're doing half percent, you're doing 0%, and yet we're doing over 2%, and you expect us to bail you out. It helps, help you out. So it'll be interesting to see, I mean, let me know in the comments, do you think he actually wins this? Because again, as we noted in the comments, a lot of people get nominated for it, but I can't help but think even if, and even if statistically speaking, there were less war, less conflict, and more peace under his administration, so I mean, my two cents, I, my three cents, hyperinflation is terrible. I mean, I think he should probably get it just based on the statistics alone, but again, I think the, there's an old song, you don't always get what you deserve, you get what you need. No, wait, reverse that? Nevertheless, I don't think he'll actually get it at the end of the day. But, as I always say, time shall tell. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February, so click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up or thumbs down or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.